Dating in LA is like, it's the worst. It's so terrible. Like, it's gotten so bad that I'm doing soul searching. I'm doing soul searching. Soul searching is a dating app to find Koreans. I know, it's gotten that bad. There's one Korean guy, hey, how are you? We traveled coast to coast to find the best stand-up comics in the country. We even went to New Jersey. That's dedication. This is Laughs. Hey, welcome to Laughs. I'm Brett Druck. I'm hosting this thing, so uh, here are some funny comics. I flew in from Tampa today, and I was so nervous. I was so nervous for my first TV ex uh, experience, right? I was just like, oh, the camera adds 10 pounds. <laughs> and a baby. <laughs> That's what's in here. It's crazy, oh my gosh. I'm actually nine months pregnant today. Thank you so much. Wow, you guys are great. Most of you clapped. Some of you were like, this could be Maury. <laughs> Very surprising. It's weird. You have to be sexy and pregnant now. That's like a weird new thing. Like, I have Spanx on, right? Right now. <laughs> I have Spanx on. Do you know what is the least sexiest thing? Pregnancy Spanx. <laughs> and I am wearing them. I do care though, you know, like I do care. I started going to the gym with one of my girlfriends who's a lot younger than me, right? We're just in different places. And she's constantly like, Mona, let's do it, Cancun bodies, woo! <laughs> I was like, Alicia, I'm not here for my Cancun body. <laughs> I'm just trying to not get gestational diabetes. I don't know, man. I'm just losing my memory as I get older. I was in the shower getting ready for the show. I had, I've been there for maybe four minutes. I had no idea if I had shampooed or not. <laughs> had no clue, so I'm like, all right, let's grab the shampoo. I need visual triggers to remind myself of things that happened just a minute ago. I start squeezing the bottle, and as soon as I see the shampoo come out the bottle, I'm like, okay, this does look familiar. <laughs> I did just do this 90 seconds ago. No, no, no. Sad. I don't think it's from smoking weed. I don't even smoke weed that often, you know? Um, I have learned one thing, though. If you're gonna smoke weed, don't watch movie previews. Everything seems a lot cooler when you're stoned, okay? Especially the guy with the cool voice that narrates all those movie previews. If you're stoned, he'll make you wanna go see whatever movie he is selling. <laughs> I was on my couch smoking a little bit and uh, that green preview screen comes on and the screen turns black and I'm like, whoa, what's this? And that voice comes on and he's like, this summer, music comes to the big screen. Jonas. Brothers. D. Yeah, and I'm on my couch stone like, oh, hell yeah! I went down to the theater, I bought a ticket. Sitting in there like, what am I doing here? I don't even like 3D, this is so stupid. Are there drawbacks to being fat? A couple. Shopping for a shirt, that's one, right? Because the fashion industry, they don't respect big people, you know? They just throw us anything. You know, y'all skinny dudes, you see that with the polos and the, you know, nice little tight shirts. We get the big shirts with the huge design, Big Daddy. <laughs> big dog. And it's never a dog, it's just a polar bear with sunglasses. <laughs> just disrespectful. <laughs> Another drawback is dating as a big person. That's not the easiest thing to do when you're a big guy like me. Because anytime somebody want to hook you up, they always want to hook you up with a big girl, you know? There's nothing wrong with big women. A lot of big women are beautiful, you know? I just don't want to have sex with a girl who got the same back and shoulders as me. That's all. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just not my thing. I apologize. You know? When you have sex, you're supposed to feel like you're winning. That's the whole point. 
and that don't make me feel like I'm winning. Well, that make me feel like my parole got denied, and I'm just <laughs> stuck in a cell with this dude here. <laughs> Not like regular-sized women, just like everybody else, you know? Because I can lie to a regular-sized woman differently than I can a big girl, you know? I go up to a regular-sized woman and be like, hey, girl, you so fine, I drink your bath water. <laughs> Which is a lie, but it's more plausible. Because <laughs> that's a regular-sized girl, you know? I can't say that to no big girl. We both know that water's contaminated, all that <laughs> chicken grease and turkey gravy in there and them onion shavings. The more I think about it, I probably should drink that bath water. <laughs> Sounds delicious. I don't understand the iCloud. I don't think anybody does. Never works for me. Here's why it doesn't work for anybody. It's too full of other people's junk pictures. That's all it is. Disgusting, gross, that's all it's full of. And if Apple ever crashes, that's gonna be a problem. It's gonna be raining genitalia on everybody. That is... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, think about what's up there. That's why you can't download or upload your phones, right? It's the worst. And why do we have those pictures? Male genitalia? Come on, are you serious? That's not a photogenic area. <laughs> like what? What filter do you even use? There's no filter. It's awful. It looks like it wasn't cooked long enough. There is no filter. You can't be like black and white. It's like old timey. Look at that. It means I'm artsy. <laughs> and you can't win if you're a guy anyway, right? You serious? You take a, like, I tried to send a picture to my wife right, when we first started dating. I tried to send her a dirty picture. It's the worst. All I did, I took a, I like, did like 5,000 push-ups. <laughs> you know? <laughs> right? Took about 950 pictures in a mirror like this. She wasn't even looking at my body. She was like, oh my God, you have no toilet paper on the roll. Uh, that is, that is, oh, uh, you don't even have a real shower curtain, just a plastic one. <laughs> Which I thought was the shower curtain, but apparently there's two shower curtains! There's a cloth one on the outside! Who tells you that? What a waste of time. Are those toothpaste spatters on your mirror? Yeah, probably. Hopefully, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Best case scenario is that's toothpaste the best case scenario. I was in a relationship for a long time and we, we broke up and I knew we weren't gonna make it. I knew it because we got into um, a food fight, okay? <laughs> we got into a fight over food. We, we got into an argument over a biscuit, <laughs> okay? Now, let me just say this so that you understand. It was not a red lobster biscuit. Um, and that's worth fighting for because it has cheese inside, all right? We legit got into an argument over a Popeye's biscuit, okay? Which is a great biscuit. It's just not a relationship ending biscuit. So I go and I go to Popeye's and both of the boxes are in my car. One of them flips over. Unbeknownst to me, the biscuit on the inside crumbles much like the relationship is about to. Um, but I get in the house and I give him his food because at this point we hate each other. We don't even eat in the same room. But this is what I hear from the next room all of a sudden. What'd you do to my biscuit? And I said, what? I was like, I don't even understand what's happening right now. Then he goes, did you step on my biscuit? <laughs> and I'm like confused, because then the language got too big for what was happening. Then this man says to me, did you decimate my biscuit? <laughs> and I said, why are you even using words like decimate? And he's like, decimate means to destroy. I was like, I know what the hell it means. I know what it means. Why are you talking to me like I'm a comic book villain? All right? <laughs> And then he overreacted so much to it that I'm just like, what happened to you as a child with biscuits? All right? Like, did somebody hit you with a bag of biscuits? Like, now I gotta start asking you probing questions. I'm like, did a biscuit hit you? Did a biscuit touch you? And if so, show me where on this biscuit, okay? 
Come on, let's get through this as a team. Um, but I will say this. I want the phrase, stepping on my biscuits, to become something. I don't know what it's going to mean because I didn't know what it meant when it happened to me. But let's just say somebody does something to you at work or somebody's petty to you and you don't know why. You can just be like, I know you did not just step on my biscuits. Like, is that <laughs> what just happened? And then they'll be like, I don't know what's going on. And you'll be like, I know. Hashtag stepping on my biscuits. Like... <laughs> Hey, great first act, everybody. We had a ton of laughs. We got a ton more coming. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome back. I'm Brett Truck. Or if you work at Starbucks, I'm Betsy Truck. Also, if you are Betsy Truck, that's your name. I'm sorry that I took your coffee. Hey, everybody. What is up? How is it going? My wife left me. What's going on with you guys? Anything? Okay, all right. Maybe left me is too harsh. I don't know. We're getting divorced and it wasn't my idea. How's that? Uh, I really wanted, I really wanted to fix it. To fix us. To, I wanted to, to, you know, stay together somehow. But, you know, when someone says, I don't love you anymore, and I haven't loved you for years, and I don't know if I ever did. <laughs> They're not really giving you a lot to work with <laughs> at that point, you know? What can you do? Those are all pretty solid reasons. Those are all pretty good. <laughs> Hard to argue against those. What if I did the dishes more? No, I still don't love you. Okay, all right. Well played. You win this round. And all future rounds, you win. Uh, the day she told me that she was leaving, she also told me that she was going out that night for drinks with a guy she met on Tinder. That night. That night. And I was like, really? Is that how you want to play this? Well, I got news for you, sweetheart. Two can play at that game. So I downloaded Tinder, and I got on there, and I found out, uh, nope, uh, only one can play at this game. <laughs> Not doing well. Okay, all right. Here's a tip that I would just pass on from me to you if you find yourself in a similar situation. Maybe don't create an online dating profile the day your wife leaves you. You're not your best self that night. Do you know what I mean? Like my Tinder bio just says, not here looking for anything too serious, just someone to hold me while I cry. <laughs> Hit me up. Recently, uh, for Father's Day, I got my dad an Ancestry DNA testing kit. I know, I know. Uh, it was an experience, you know? Once I got the kit, though, and sent it back, I learned ancestry DNA testing is for white people. That's for y'all. <laughs> That's for you guys. <laughs> Mainly because they can't tell you nothing about your African heritage, you know? They tell you where your ancestors are from in Africa by highlighting the whole continent. So they'd be like, we think you're from somewhere in here, and they shade the whole thing in. <laughs> <laughs> There's also a feature on the site that, uh, where you can connect with relatives you didn't know you had. And I don't really like that. You know, I don't like people showing up at the cookout unannounced. <laughs> I don't want nobody I don't know hitting me up wanting to talk. <laughs> like, what if it's a poor, like a poor girl? Like, you know, what if she poor? I paid my dues, I deserve a wealthy relative. I've put in the time. Okay. Feel like some girl named Misty gonna reach out. Cause Misty's a poor girl name, I'm sorry. Four out of five dentists don't recommend this show, but I don't do it for them. I do it for the one that does. This is for you, Dr. Steve. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Laughs. I'm Brett Druck. I am a Laughs comic, and I was hanging out backstage with another one of the Laughs comics, and they were like, do you want to host this thing? And I was like, okay. And uh, this isn't really a good story, I'm just realizing, but uh, here is one. No, I was out shopping the other week, got an email, 
my phone. It was just like, uh, hey, LaShonda, give me a call. We uh, want to talk some business with you. And I was like, hell yeah, the Illuminati finally called me. Yes. <laughs> yes. And I got home, and I really opened up the email, and I read, and uh, it was from the United States Bank of Hong Kong. <laughs> And uh, apparently, my granddaddy had a brother who died and left me, your girl, $11 million. <laughs> Somehow, I don't really think that was the truth. But I was like, you know what? I'm finna call my granddaddy anyway. <laughs> So I called my granddad and I'm like, hey, granddad, how you doing today? Uh, listen, do we have any family uh, outside of Detroit? <laughs> He's like, like Alabama? A little further out. <laughs> the Caribbean? Think more east. <laughs> and then he's like, well, let me cut my hearing aid up. Like, what, what, what are you talking about? Uh, did you have a brother in Hong Kong? And then he was like, let me cut my hearing aid back down. <laughs> and then he was like, are you high? <laughs> and I was like, that's not the point. <laughs> and I hung up the phone, I was mad as hell. I was like, oh! And I wrote them an email I'd like to share with you if I can. <laughs> I doubt this will make it to TV, but We'll see. <laughs> Stop sending me this BS. I got my own problems to deal with without your scamming ass filling up my inbox. <laughs> you wanna know what's going on with me? I'm debating whether to feed my family some mess called Hamburger Companion. <laughs> and y'all over here promising me false riches. <laughs> if I could, I would come to the United States Bank of Hong Kong and do you like R. Kelly did that girl in that one video? <laughs> Hi, Ara. Uh, <laughs> I hate y'all. You suck. I hope the good Lord finds you on Judgment Day and punch you in the face. <laughs> now you have a nice day. And do you know they wrote me back? <laughs> All it said was LOL. I'm LaShonda Lester. Thank you so much. Comics are always talking about who's going to get the last laugh. Well, today, I get to choose who gets the last laugh when we come back from commercial. So, ha <laughs> ha. OK, it's that time. The last laugh. I'm actually, I'm on Tinder. That dating app, you guys familiar with Tinder? The swipe, swipe, swipe. Uh, I was on it today, I saw my uncle on Tinder. I know, Uncle Chaz, there he was. He didn't even change his name, it just said Uncle Chaz. <laughs> Obviously, I swipe left, okay? Because he's not gonna be into me now that I'm all grown up, let's just. <laughs> oh. oh, in the Midwest, they like that joke, you guys, okay? <laughs> Midwest knows comedy. <laughs> I did see my ex-boyfriend. I spent some time with him a couple weeks ago. I know, I know, uh-oh, I was right. Uh, it's really embarrassing what happened because um, we got into a car accident, which is terrible because I was driving and he was walking. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see him there. Who knew Honda Civics can go over sidewalks, right ladies? Who knew? I told him, I was like, you can run, but you can't run. Cause you're in a wheelchair. So good luck finding love rolling into bars without me. You guys, it's just a joke. I'm not a monster. He's not in a wheelchair, calm down, okay? He's dead. <laughs> That's the show. We had a great time. We had a blast. We had a ton of laughs. It was awesome. It was so much better than last week's pile of crap. It was really... Oh, I can't be honest? What happened to truth and comedy, okay? 
No? All right. Well, I'm sorry then to the comics last week who were on that episode. Come back next week. We got another great episode. Weren't you on last week's episode? Crap. just gonna watch and run, are you? Come on, what are you doing? Hit like to show some love. Or better yet, hit subscribe and then I'll let you know when we post even more awesomeness. Right? Go ahead, do it. Hit it and then quit it. <laughs>